If you are interested, what I need help in is for some people to type up what I say in my videos and I am going to use that to pass out to other people. So if you are interested in that, please contact me. God bless you. I was watching a video and it was pretty interesting. When many of us sin, if we were to repent, Jesus Christ would accept us back. If we were to go back to sin afterward, then repent again, Jesus Christ would accept us back again. So pretty much, I guess you can say, no matter how many times you repeat that process, Jesus Christ is going to be willing to accept you back. Some people may believe that Jesus Christ don't have any feelings. They may believe that Jesus is like this robot or this android or this mechanical object where he doesn't feel anything. We have to know that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And because of that, we have the opportunity, we have the opportunity, which is not automatic, we have the opportunity to get into heaven if we repent of our sins and turn away from sins and follow his rules and regulations. So for him to die for us, that shows us that he loves us. What if you were to die for a group of people and they say to you, hey, I am going to do as I please, whatever. How is that going to make you feel, especially if you were tortured before you died? How would that make you feel if you are a supernatural being right now but while you were on this earth, you died for some people and they are pretty much saying, hey, I know that you died for us, but hey, I am going to do me as in, I am going to do as I please. How would that make you feel? Perhaps sad, angry, and say, hey, why did I even die <laughs> for those people if they are going to reject me? So God is willing, Jesus Christ is willing to accept us back no matter how many times we have sinned as long as we repent and be serious about it and turn from our wicked ways and follow his rules and regulations, he is willing to take us back. Now, let's think about us. We cry to God for mercy. We cry to God for help. But many of us continue to sin, <laughs> pretty much stabbing Jesus Christ in the back and going our way, then when we get into trouble, we are crying out to him. And when we repent, when we repent, 
he still has his arms open to us. Each time. Every time when we are sincere, when we repent, he accepts us back. Think about your personal life. How many times have people betrayed you? How many times have you accepted or rejected people because of how they treated you? We expect to be forgiven each time, but when it comes down to other people, many of us are not willing to accept that person back into our lives. There is a person, and I have no idea <laughs> why this person wants to contact me. I have no idea. Because when we interact, after a while, things go wrong. <laughs> but this person continues to say sorry, blah, 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 whatever. And I was thinking, I never want to talk to this person ever again. But something within me was saying, Kevin, talk to that person. And I was thinking, I don't want to because the same thing is going to continue to happen, Kevin. Go talk to that person. That person is going to frustrate me. I don't want to. <laughs> Kevin, talk to that person. And that thought, that recurring thought, voice, whatever you want to call it, will continue to come to me until I do it. Like, it is like I can't get any rest until I do it. Or I can't get any peace, I guess you can say, until I do it. And when I do it, I can see traces of the same thing happening again. <laughs> I have no idea why God wants me to speak to that person. I have no idea why that person wants to speak to me. I have no idea. Obviously, I guess, something good may come out of it. I have no idea. I don't know. So how many of us are willing to take people back especially when they have hurt us deeply. That person and some others have hurt me deeply, very, very deeply. And the hardest thing about that is to deal with the pain. It is much easier to deal with the pain by not talking to that person ever again. <laughs> like never talking to that person ever again. It is harder to deal with that pain, accept what happened, and not allowing those feelings of bitterness, anger, hatred, and whatever to consume me. I have to fight that stuff off. I have to fight it off, which is not easy, especially when someone continues to stab you. Like, what is your problem? What is going on? Are you playing games? No. 
I have to accept it, deal with the pain, and have my arms open for that person every time. Yes, I can see you stabbing me right now. <laughs> ouch, 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 ouch. But I still have to have my arms open while you are stabbing me. <laughs> Kevin, ah! <laughs> But the day when I don't have my arms open, Kevin, you are doing wrong. I'm like, <laughs> how? <laughs> I don't want to hurt anymore. We ask for mercy, but we aren't willing to show others mercy. I have no idea what is wrong Totally, what is wrong with that person? Obviously, it have to be something huge for that person to repeat themselves over and over and over again. Obviously, there is some type of psychological issue. I have no idea. But... If a person is saying that they need our help, even though they backstabbed us so many times in some way or form, we have to be there for those people. I am telling you. If you reject a person that is in need because they hurt you, watch out. Back in 2016, there was a person, let me say this, back when I was in sin, I treated people, some people like trash. Maybe <laughs> I am still reaping. That was back in my early 20s early 20s and not so much years after but maybe I am still paying for what I did back when I was in sin I don't know but back in 2016 this person <laughs> my lord it was crazy anyways that person got sick and called me, Kevin, can you pick up some soup for me? And I was thinking, for two months, you treated me so crazy, talking to me like whatever, and you want me to pick up some soup for you? <laughs> that is what I was thinking. But at the same time, I was thinking, Kevin, you better do this because if you don't, God is going to curse you. So I picked up the soup and I drove like 15 minutes or more to this person's place. When I got there, this person was really, really ill. And that person asked me, to cook the soup for him and I was thinking what in the world is going on but I did not say anything I said okay so I warmed up the soup and this person was really 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 sick I believe I gave him something else and I think I had to be there longer than what I expected I think I was there until he ate everything or something like that. I forget. But I was there for a while. And <laughs> uh, 
But I can say this. Months afterward, he called me and apologized to me. Apologized to me for how he was treating me. Do you know how hard it was to not hate that person? Like to not have bitterness and bad thoughts about that person? For quite a long while, I would have to fight off those negative thoughts about that person because so many thoughts of how I can get even with that person was coming to my mind and it was really, really surprising. Things that I normally don't think of. So that tells you there have to be demons placing those thoughts into your mind because I don't even think that way like some really, really far out crazy things were coming to my mind. So in saying this, you have to be careful on how you treat people because demons speak to people as well. So even if you believe that a person is not capable of doing something, hey, <laughs> that can be the person that does it. So my point is, always keep your arms open for people. Even though they are willing to stab you so many times. So let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.